Hey everybody, this is Javi, and you're watching the Bowtie Psychic here on YouTube. I'm a psychic, intuitive medium, and author who uses divination and storytelling to help people overcome generational trauma. And one way I do that is by giving general readings. Welcome to my page. If this is the first time you've ever been on here, um, you can always subscribe to the page so you'll never miss another video. Or if you would like to have a more in-depth reading, you can go to the Bowtie Psychic dot um, com website to book an appointment today i'm actually doing a segment called or video for a segment called uh, what spirit said and it's a weekly series where i'll just be get a pull a card and give a general a general message to the uh, collective so i'm really excited to get started as the first episode uh at least here on youtube and so with that being said let's get started Hey everyone, so the card that we received today in regards to today's message uh, is, oh, I'm sorry, let me read this real quick. So it's called, Seek Your Answers Within. So basically what I'm getting from this card is the fact that we are at a time where um, we are meant to work within ourselves and to basically come in contact with our inner spirit, who are our higher self, because with the pandemic going on, uh, a lot of people are indoors. A lot of people are um, not, for, for a variety of reasons and for a good reason, uh, are not able to be out and about, which means that a lot of the routines change, a lot of how we interact with people change. And so what ends up happening is that now when we're by ourselves, we are being pushed into looking within, seeking answers within, uh, and not looking to outside sources uh, to entertain us or to make us feel better or to um, or to, to to entertain us in some way, uh, shape, or form. So now this is literally the time for us to just go within and just rediscover or discover ourselves because with the modern technology we have and a lot of the information we have, even though it was, is all fine and good, it definitely uh, kept us from looking within and being connected with ourselves and to be honest about where we are, you know, because we live, we're living in a society where it's very inundated with images of people, you know, living a certain lifestyle or, you know, being a certain way. Um, and that's what we look at. And we often compare ourselves to other people and we, just simply because of what we see on social media. And so this is literally the time, according to what Spirit is saying, to use this opportunity to limit our interactions with social media and limit our time with social media or on social media rather, and just look within ourselves, to look uh, within ourselves in order to be honest about where we are, how we feel about ourselves, how we think, how we feel. Um, this is a time for us to be really intimate with ourselves and our energy so we can be very, uh, so we can be aware of what type of energy we're putting out there. Um, again, a lot of people feel that we have to be a certain way in order for us to be acceptable. And so we carry that energy around with us and we end up suppressing who we are at the core because we want to be accepted by other people. And the card that we received today look for your answers within, right? Look and look and seek your answers uh, within yourself, okay? Be in touch with your chakras. Be in touch with your emotions. Be in, in touch with how you feel about yourself on a subconscious and unconscious level, right? This is a time for us to not look to externals to run away from um, the, the situation or run away from ourselves. We are to use this time to basically know ourselves. And this is definitely um, true for a lot of uh, spiritual workers who are constantly working with people who are constantly, you know, um, on, on the internet, on the grind, you know, um, helping other people, working with other people. But now, now that we're home and things have changed, this is a time for us to really get in touch with who we are. Okay, and, and I'm not only just saying this, you know, to other people, this is also for me as well, because I no longer have those externals, therefore I only have myself. And now that, that you know, I'm with myself 24 hours a day, seven days a week, also I have to be aware of my shadows and where those shadows are coming from. 
And this is what we are being uh, told to do as well as a collective, to be aware of our shadows, to get connected with our shadows, to get connected with um, how our thoughts play a huge part and how we think of, about ourselves, how we show up in the world, you know, how we use those thoughts and those, uh, uh, those, those, that negative self-talk um, or certain uh, types of, um, of, of images that pop into our mind, um, how we use those to survive. We are to look at that, to really think about how we use our mind and our mindset to survive regardless of what our mindset was. So basically like this is literally um, the start of a new era, as the start of a new uh, self project, you know what I mean? You are the project. You are like, you are the project in regards to how you're supposed to be connecting with yourself. And what I'm getting from this card as well is that you're gonna end up loving yourself even more, okay, because you are able to look at your shadows. You are able to look at yourself, you know, and, and, and see someone who is uh, worth more than you give yourself credit for. You know what I mean? A lot of us, especially those in the, uh, in the, the professions that we work in, the spiritual profession, um, a lot of us are often putting ourselves out there um, to be positive and to be happy, you know, all the time. And that's not realistic. That's not possible. So again, this is the time to actually look within the self to combat a lot of those the, those perceptions about you know who you are supposed to be as a person. Because quite frankly, if that's not who you are, and that's not what you are um, comfortable with, and that's what you're putting yeah, that's what you're putting out in the world, like you're this happy with go lucky person, when in actuality you're someone completely different, then that is the time for you to put a lot of that aside in regards to putting up the facade, putting that facade aside and actually start doing the real work, the real shadow work. It doesn't surprise me at all that this bear is actually um, black. So that tells me right there, like, the, like there's a shadow and beneath the shadow, is this heart of gold. This is exactly where you are. This is exactly where your core is. This is exactly where your power is. This is exactly who you are at the core. This is time for you to get tapped into that person so you can thrive. When this uh, pandemic is over with, you can thrive, okay? You're no longer swayed either by what's happening, okay? Because you are growing and evolving and you are allowing yourself that alone time to become more and more in touch with who you're supposed to be. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your energy. If you resonated with that message in any way, shape, or form, by all means, click that like button. You can also subscribe to my channel um, so you'll never miss another video. Again, if you are wanting more uh, a more in-depth reading for yourself or, other, or someone else, you can actually uh, go to the bowtiepsychic.com website and book a reading. Um, and we'll def definitely go from there. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. I really appreciate it. And so here we are. We're done. All right. So until next time, peace.